children you will now study about bimetallic strips which finds many application in our daily life bimetallic strips are based on thermal expansion concept there are three factors on which thermal expansion in solids depends upon the first factor is the nature of the material then the original length of the object and change in temperature the, the concept of bimetallic strip is based on the first factor that is the nature of the material i will explain you the working of bimetallic strip and uh, why does it work like that on the basis of the first factor only now you have been told that different solids expand differently on heating them to same extent this happens because the amount by which a substance expands or contracts depends upon the strength of the bonds between the atoms if the atoms have weaker bonding amongst each other they will tend to expand or contract more on heating or cooling respectively and this forms the basis of working of bimetallic strips so bimetallic strips are basically a temperature sensitive devices which consist of two metals and they are joined along the length that means in the form of strips since the metals that we take have different rates of expansion so when we heat it or when we cool it the strips bend differently one of the strip will bend more than other that means one of the strip will show either more expansion or more contraction than the other so we can define a bimetallic strip to be consisting of two strips of different metals which expand at different rates as they are heated some examples of bimetallic strips the materials that we choose are either a combination of steel and copper in some cases we choose steel and brass or iron and brass so there is a reason behind choosing this particular combination if a bimetallic strip is used uh, is made up of steel and copper then you will find that on heating copper expands more than steel and therefore on cooling copper will contract more than steel because the strength of the bonds between the atoms in copper is weaker than that of steel so copper will bend more on heating as well as on cooling the same thing is observed if you take a bimetallic strip consisting of brass and steel or brass and iron brass will expand more as compared to steel and iron and at the same time it will contract also more as compared to steel and iron and the reason remains the same that the bonding the strength of the bonding between the atoms in brass is very much weaker than that of steel and iron this particular slide shows you a bimetallic strip which is consisting of two metals brass and steel so you can now see here clearly that on heating the steel bends lesser than that of brass that means the bending in brass is more that means brass is expanding more and at the same time on cooling it you must have observed that the curvature in the brass portion which is the orange portion is more and therefore it is contracting more than steel okay this is another uh, bimetallic strip consisting of iron and brass now here again when it is heated brass is bending more as clearly seen over here as compared to iron so if i ask you a question that if this strip is cooled then what will be the shape of the strip so will you be able to 
uh, guess the shape it will be just the opposite of the shape which is shown here that means on cooling the shape of the strip will be in this way brass will contract more than iron on cooling so here you can see clearly that the curvature in brass is more as compared to iron why because of the nature of brass this is the actual picture of a bimetallic strip and this is being heated so you can here also clearly observe that the curvature on the lower side is uh, on this side is more than the other side why because of the same reason some of the uses of bimetallic strip is uh, are automatic fire alarm or smoke alarm electric irons oven geysers refrigerators etc so this is used widely in many appliances